Hey guys, long time no see. My bad. Um, I have to apologize not only for my very extended absence, but also for the fact that this video and the one I just posted, How to Pack for Field School, I filmed almost a year ago. Um, that shows my level of motivation for a YouTube channel. Um, clearly not my calling. <laughs> anyway, I filmed both of them right before and while I was at Pojacola, um, an incredible Etruscan site that I had the honor of digging on last summer. Um, the name may be familiar to you because we've just gotten a bunch of recognition and published um, a couple articles about this stele we found which has a massive inscription on it. I've never been so excited to be involved in something. I'm so honored and so pleased that everyone else is kind of giving it the recognition it deserves. Um, the site has yielded a ton of really interesting and important findings about the Etruscans and that's obviously important to me but um, I don't know. I'm just really proud of it and really excited to say that I was a part of it and seeing it getting recognition is so cool. Um, anyway, this upcoming summer I unfortunately am not going to be digging at Pojacola nor anywhere else. Um, fortunately I now have a full-time job um, and that in, you know, my vacation time and the fact that I have a bunch of weddings coming up means I just don't have the time to dedicate to digging this year. Um, sucks. So I probably won't have any new content to post for you guys, not that I'm very timely with it anyway. Um, but in any case, I do, you know, if any of you ever have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I know I'm not a big deal on YouTube or anywhere else, um, but if I can be of help to anyone, um, I'm always willing and happy to lend an ear and hopefully give some advice if I can. So anyway, enjoy. Hello everyone. So I thought I would do a very real what's in my bag archaeology edition because I have just returned from a whole day on site. It was really hard. Um, we're at the end of our season here at Kojakola. Um, it's the last season. It's been 20 years running. This is the very last one ever. <laughs> and today we did our second day of backfill. I'm really tired, but this is going to be really real. Um, I have stopped to get myself some Te Pesca, which is my crack uh, here in Italy. So yeah, let me get cracking. Ugh, okay, so let's start. The very front of my pack, I have my gloves on it. Um, they are completely filthy. Um, you may remember these from the one I did last year where they're brand new. Um, and it's been one season and I've like destroyed the fingers and everything. They're super worn out, but I will continue to use them until they're really, really done. Um, but yeah, I clip them here because they're really dirty and I don't want them inside my backpack. Um, this side I got my water bottle, which is empty. <laughs> um, this side I bug spray. This is the like deep woods, really intense one because we have a lot of bugs up here. And some garbage. Yeah. And some more garbage. Hey! And some leaves. Okay, so small pocket, more interesting. Um, bandana, good for wearing around your neck, around your head, it's fashion accessory. Or, uh, as I like to do, I get soaking wet and tied around my neck as like an air conditioner and I use it to wipe my sweat off, which I will do now because I'm realizing how disgusting I look. Um, also have in here two sunscreens, SPF 100, SPF 30, 100 is for my face, and here, 30 is for my arms, um, oops, what's going on here? Okay, it's still working. Interesting. Anyway, um, moving on, uh, hand sanitizer, luckily haven't had to use this too much, um, because they've had this at our latrine, um, so I haven't really had to use my own, which is lovely. Um, but yes, we do have a latrine. <laughs> uh, I have my GoPro, which I failed to use up until yesterday. Go me. <laughs> um, <laughs> really scratched up in shitty sunglasses. Um, my trench was mostly in the shade, so I haven't had to wear these too much, but they're here when I need them. Um, band-aids galore. I've got the like really big ones for blister, for like back heel blisters and big cuts and then I have one like specific medicated blister one left. Um, 
went through all my regular size, like smaller ones, and almost all of my blister ones. So, I can tell we're at the end of the season. Uh, chapstick, which I thought I had lost, so glad I found it. And a blister balm stick, which is, this shit is great. Sorry, my language. I'm really tired. I'm not gonna try to edit it. Um, moving onwards. Bunch of bobby pins. Uh, yeah, kind of bobby pins. I would put them on some paper to kind of hold them in place, but I haven't really had to use them because I tend to go for the braided look here uh, because it keeps your hair out of your face and it's not on my neck either, so I feel a lot cooler with this hairstyle, but anyway, interesting information. Um, hairbrush, again, usually have my hair in braids by the time we leave the house, so haven't had to use it. There's something really gross on this. Oh, meh. Hummus. <laughs> so um, we have cold cuts for lunch every day and I don't really like them, so I bring hummus for myself. Um, that's not in my bag anymore because I eat it. Uh, deodorant, freshening up, uh, try to be nice to your trench mates and smell good. Um, tissues, so this one is almost gone, this one's brand new. This is for, on those rare occasions, Again, on my site, our latrine is like pretty posh because we got like we have toilet paper, hand sanitizer. They've stocked feminine products for us, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's still it's a it's a hole in the woods, but it's a pretty nice one. We have a lot of vines; so it doesn't smell that bad. Anyway, so I mostly haven't had to use these, and in fact, use them most often at lunch. Um, but yeah, and my phone. Hey. <laughs> And the big pocket. My Tilly hat, which got really dirty. Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. But I spilled mud on it, like I was pouring water on my head and um, had dropped my hat in the mud. But it looks way better now. But yeah, now I am Indiana Jones Liz. Uh, anyway, this thing is filthy. I've already washed it three times and it's still really gross. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is my sun shirt. Ooh, so styling. Mm-hmm. Um, this one's from REI. It's moisture wicking. It's got these, like, stretchy panel things on the side. I don't know. As I said in my previous video, my old one was white and looked disgusting after just a week, so I opted for darker ones ever since. Um, anyway, enough of that. And I have... My trusty trowel. This is a little case for it. Um, it's just cardboard and electric tape that keeps it from poking holes and shit. And I left mine in sight uh, last Friday. And it got all rusty. Isn't that so sad? Poor Mr. Trowel. He's been with me through so much. Um, yeah, I will fix that when I get home. But again, it was last Friday and we have been doing backfill all this week, so I haven't even had to use him. Um, yeah, and oh. Last item, a pencil case uh, full of pens, pencils, and highlighters. Shocking. Um, normally would have my field notebook in here, but we um, submitted them, and even though I'm not here as a student, um, I wanted mine to be looked over by someone who knows their stuff better than me, so that I am getting back tonight, I think. And it's just your kind of typical, um, the yellow cloth bound, well waxed or whatever cloth bound, um, bright in the rain book. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it, but kept one and now it's being looked over and that's that. All right, well, that is everything in my bag and uh, I really want to take a shower now. So, ciao, ciao for now. Uh.